We know exercise has incredible physical benefits, but it also has wonderful positive effects on our mental health and how we feel. It's Ollie and Alicia, and if you have any mental illness like anxiety or depression, it's worth including exercise in your toolkit to help you manage your condition. But first of all, if you do suffer from any symptoms of mental illness, it's worth seeking care from a local health professional. The earlier, the better. Mental illness can be very complex, and exercise isn't always a panacea that works for everyone. But some studies show that exercise can be an effective treatment for mild to moderate depression. So it's very much worth including alongside other treatment strategies. So how does exercise boost our mental health? Well, there are a few ways that exercise does this. Number one, when you exercise, you release brain chemicals like endorphins that can generate positive feelings. Exercise improves the quality of your sleep and it also reduces the time it takes to get to sleep. And when you exercise with others, you get the value of social connection. And we all know how important that is to feeling good. You may also feel a sense of satisfaction and achievement based on what you've accomplished. What types of exercise are best for anxiety and depression? Well, the best form of exercise for anxiety and depression, mental illness in general, is the one that gets done. So we highly recommend picking exercise that you enjoy because then you're much more likely to do it. And any exercise is better than none at all. So start small and you can build up over time. How should you get started? Experiencing resistance to starting an exercise program is very common, and especially so if you're experiencing symptoms of mental illness. But we have a few tips that might help you get started. Okay, tip number one is start small. Pick an exercise that is manageable for you because something is always better than nothing. And it could be something as small as just a five minute walk or a two minute walk even. Tip number two, schedule in your exercise so it's part of your week. It's non-negotiable time that's dedicated to exercise. And be specific. So you might say on Wednesday morning at nine o'clock, I'm gonna go for a 10 minute walk around the block. And tip number three is to make a commitment to others to help you build a habit of exercise. So whether that's joining a group to do your exercise or even just meeting up with a friend to go for a walk with, or perhaps signing up to an exercise program. To summarise, exercise can be an important part of a mental health management plan if you experience depression and anxiety, particularly if it's on the mild to moderate end of the spectrum. So do activities you enjoy and make a commitment to exercising with others. And if this video resonated with you, we recommend checking out some of Beyond Blue's content. They have some great resources when it comes to anxiety, depression, and of course, exercise. We'll see you next time.